there are some basic counseling points that you as a pharmacist should remember and convey to all patients. When we think about protection against biting insects, uh, whether they be mosquitoes or any other arthropods, we have to think about in protection strategies. And I think the one that allows us to use all of our vector-borne protection is malaria. So let's use malaria as an example for insect protection. When you think about how diseases are transmitted by mosquitoes, the first question you have to ask is, when's the mosquito actually going to bite me? Malaria is only transmitted from dusk till dawn. So the Anopheles mosquito that transmits malaria is only active overnight. It's one of the few mosquitoes that is active overnight. So during the day, you're not at risk for malaria. If you were in a country where malaria was the only problem, you wouldn't have to wear insect repellent during the day. Unfortunately, there aren't countries that really exist because if they have Anopheles mosquitoes, they probably also have Aedes mosquitoes, which transmits some of the other diseases that we'll talk about. So from malaria side, first knowing that if you don't have to go out at night, don't go out at night. That's the behavioral aspect. The second part is where you, you're staying, where you're sleeping. If you're in a hotel room that has air conditioning in the tropics, number one, you're probably in a better hotel, but number two, you're also going to inhibit mosquitoes getting into your room. Mosquitoes don't like cold, so they're very unlikely to hang out in your room and bite you overnight if you have an air conditioning going in there. The other thing to look for, if you have uh, screens. Sometimes they're called flywire in uh, developing countries. They're very fine mesh screens. They keep insects from coming into your room. And in worst case scenarios, in some countries that I've been in, the windows are just taped shut. So then you know that you're in a malarious area. So if you can keep the insects out, that's Job number one. Now let's get a little bit more personal to yourself. A personal strategy for keeping mosquitoes away from you is an insect net. Again, this is really only applies in the context of malaria or maybe Japanese encephalitis, which is also transmitted overnight, because you wouldn't walk around during the day with an insect net over you. But at night, you can sleep within one. You can buy them. They're available over the counter. They come in different holes per square inch. We usually recommend around 400 holes per square inch. Uh, to be in a malarious area. If it's treated with permethrin, which is insecticide, even better. You drape it around you, make sure it's not open anywhere, there are no tears in it. It's kind of like pantyhose, right? If you get a run in those, mosquitoes will find that one run and run right through. That's what mosquito netting is kind of feels like, right? Is being inside something that has a very dense mesh in there. Unfortunately, you don't get a lot of airflow, but fortunately, you also don't get mosquitoes. As I remind people, if a mosquito can't get through, a spider can't get through, so other things that people are terrified of also can't get through that net. That's your, your personal bubble strategy around you. 